Hello everybody and welcome to another Clear Fails. This time I am playing Shadow Run Returns. Now, uh, I have played this a little bit um, already on stream. I played about two hours of it. Um, I am going to go back to the beginning. Um, Shadow Run Returns, uh, from what I understand, is very loosely based on a Shadow Run game for the. I think it was the Super NES, but I'm, I can't be a hundred percent sure. It's an isometric um, RPG with combat elements, and you'll see. You'll see. It, it introduced you to to the game. Um, let's go for a new game. Um, right. This screen is what gives me a lot of hope for this game because. Um, as you can see, you've got stories. Now, there is only one story from which I understand is about 10 hours worth of content. However, if you see this find more stories button, um, what we can hope, uh, because there is um, a, a user generated content um, machine, I want to say, and, and a workshop, there's a workshop on Steam that lets people make their own stories. Now, Shadow Run, if you don't know, is um, a, a pen and paper RPG with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of source books and, and game plans. Now, I expect in the not too distant future, fans of Shadow Run, of which there are many, um, trust me, I, I've done lots and lots of uh, pen and paper RPGs um, and Shadow Run is, is, is the one that comes up possibly second most after D&D. &D. So there's lots of lots of lore and lots and lots of shiny things. Um, so I'm expecting that the fans are gonna make all those old source novels into new ones. So that I, I, I expect that in, in, in the not too distant future, this you'll be able to go and you'll be able to download loads more stories. And as it, as it is, that's the only campaign so far, but I would expect more to be forthcoming like within the next month or so, but not officially. Okay, so you gotta launch a campaign and you create your character. Um, it, yeah, there are no differences between men and women, so, so, however, um, let's go, uh, female, right, you can choose different races, now the races, um, are depending, they're called metahumans, they're, they're, they're metatypes, you've got your regular human, you've got your regular elf, um, although elves are not regular, because this is a dystopian future, and it's supposed, I think this is supposed, this is supposed to take place in 2050, but, um, most of the shadow runs take place in 2017. You've got dwarfs, you've got orcs with a K, not a C, and you've got a troll, which is fine. Um, I think I'm probably gonna go for a dwarf this time. Right, and you have different classes. Um, street Samurai, which is your basic punchy, stabby, raw, close combat sort of operative. General Mage, oh god, hang on, sorry, sorry, uh, Street Sam, Mage, um, Decker, Deckers are quite nice because Deckers are, are basically, um, they're basically the people that live inside machines, and I say live inside machines, they've got a physical body as well so that they need to protect, but basically they're your hackers and you have a matrixy style chip. Um, Shaman, uh, your basic uh, bear shaman is 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 combat orientated, <clears throat> and and they get skills and they have they have links to spirit animals and stuff because because magic has come back. That's why there are all these metahumans and etc. Magic come back. Rigger, <clears throat> riggers are fun. Riggers um, use robots and you can and 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 basically use them to kill for you and it's good. And physical adepts are basically possibly the worst class in Shadowrun ever, so don't ever use those. Um, I think this time we are going to go for... Let's go for a chamois. Yep, yeah. chamois, go! Oh. Right, so then you've got to spend your karma. Um, 
karma is basically your hit points, not your hit points, your 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 points points. Um, so willpower, spell casting. Oh, got spirit something. Okay, so this is basically where I am. I'm on I'm on the charisma side of things. Um, can equip air barrier, increase spell book slot. Okay, so spirit control. Um, totem choice. Let's pick a totem. Choice is permanent, so fuck it. Um, there are more, but um, I think we're gonna go for bear. There is powerful, gentle, wise, protector of the natural world. Heals all friends. Oh no, I don't want that. Dodge. Uh, quickness, no. Eagle. Raccoon. Raccoon is 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 a fast one. Okay. Um. Fuck it. We'll go for bear. Because at least then we can heal shit. Um, what's this one? Gonna equip air barrier, increase spell book slot. Okay, so as you can see, my karma is now gone, so I've now got extra spells, and I'm now a bear. Fuck yeah! Etiquette is about knowing how to behave in social situations. Okay, so I can choose things. Um, let's go for gang, and I can choose two. So gang and corporate, because that makes sense. Okay, now, um, so we got to choose a nickname, um, Cleo, hang on, T, Zombie, there you go, that's my nickname. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so basically you start off, as with all shadow running campaigns, um, kind of in the shit. There is a lot of of slumming in the Shadowrun world. Um, and you start in your apartment. And if you read the flavor text, I'm not going to read the flavor text. I'm going to give you the gist of it because I've played through this bit before. Um, the flavor text is awesome. It's really, really well written. It gets you a nice, um, a nice feel for the atmosphere. So let's continue. Continue. Something needs to change and soon. So basically I'm in the shit. So my apartment is three o'clock. I've got nowhere to go but down. I need a fucking job. <clears throat> what we got over here? Notebook, calendar, you view your list of contacts. Dead, dead, missing, dead, dead. Yeah, the list goes on, either dead ends or just plain dead. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, personal calendar, nothing. Put it down. I have a shit notebook. Oh, apparently my vid phone is ringing. So I go over here, turn on the vid phone, um, and then, and then, and then this dude, um, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna shift up. Um, this guy is dead and he's apparently got a dead man switch, um, in his head and he's contacted you, but this is a flashback, um, to get you into, involved in the combat and getting you used to it. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks, the night Dowd went down. Okay, so basically this is new Larry. Dowd died. Shut your scream about the rain. You get to choose all these options and, and, and it's it's nice to read it. Um, I read it last night to my stream and, and my voice died within about five seconds. Um, so yeah. So basically, um, this guy I'm talking to you now um uh if you read it he basically they're, they're having a chat and it's it's a nice it's a nice chat it's like real people the shame is it didn't get voice acted but um we've got incoming okay so new larry relaxes and throws you a drek eating grin drek in, dress eating drek is obviously shit eating grin but uh but it makes it um okay for for kids sort of apart from all the murder and stuff um so basically this guy has betrayed you um and uh renraku renraku is is a, a global mega company with its own police um basically he's betrayed you to them so we're gonna beat the shit out of each other Right, so these guys are going to come in, leave the mage, kill the others. No, beat the fuck out of the mage. That's what we're going to do. 
And um, we're now in turn based combat. Okay, so I'm gonna. He's gonna get shot. He's gonna get proper shot. And what have I got? What weapons have I got? Yeah, let's take down Mari. Okay, apparently I can't take down Mari. No. I suck at this. Um, she, however, will probably be able to take it down. He had it coming. Totally had it coming. Right, let's get you over here. So, it's... it's this game is very cool. I mean, the combat... I mean, this is very simple combat. But, um... It reminds me a lot of, um... XCOM. If you've ever watched it. If you've ever played XCOM. Um, because you, you know, cover is important. Can you shoot anyone? Oh, you managed. Um... Come over here. Flank him. Right. He's going to miss her. Hooray! So yeah, it's like it's like XCOM with a better story. Let's put it like that. Right, let's get my baseball bat out. And smack this guy in the face. Dead. And can I not? Yeah, smack him. Right, Sam. Right. Sam, you're coming. Oh, shit. You can just come around the edge. Shoot the fuck out of that guy. No, that guy. Can you shoot from there? Dead. Okay. Now, we should have, coming in from the sides, lots more people. So, you can see the little shield thing. If you if you played um, XCOM that should be familiar to you. There's full cover and half cover in that little slot that I'm holding it over there. The half cover means you're less, you're, you're less likely to be hit. Full cover means you're pretty much not going to be hit ever. So let's go this way. Right. Incoming some more. Right. Now I am going to hide myself behind a table because I can and I'm going to switch to oh no I'm not going to reload I am going to shoot I have pretty much no skill in shooting as you can probably tell um, Sam is going to do that and then he's going to shoot the big dude or the small dude right you can see the percentages above them that basically means your chance to hit So 99% chance to hit. Shoot him. Okay, we shot him. All right, this guy is coming in to have a go. And so is this guy. All right, so they uh, suck, as all people should do. Um, should try that guy. No, 25% chance. Ah, oh, managed. Okay. Sam is out of ammo. Sam only needs to reload for one. Basically, you get two turns. If you reload for one... Um, one of your turns goes and you can't shoot. So, uh, Sagoma, take him down. And Renraku failed. And we've got another one coming. And that's a mage. You can tell because mages always had to, they have a shaman. Well, you have a shaman as well. In fact, you know what? We're going to go to me. How many shots do you have? Do you only have one turn left? Okay. So we've got me being twat. Oh, wow. It's a lot of magic. Right, things we need to do right now is we need to get me under here and we need to uh, right, if we... Right, these two are okay. It's just me, so let's heal me. Heal me! Um, right, we need to take out the mage, basically. Let's shoot the mage. Shit. Right, can you shoot? 
you the mage? Yeah. This is bad. There we go. Right, if we kill the mage, this is the spirit summon. Ow! ow. Okay, we need to get these two undercover. At least we need to get her undercover. Right, I am going to... Can I hit that one? No, I can't. Um, I'm going to get myself over there. We are going to heal the... Sh oh, we can't hit that. We've got another one. Um... You know, they could throw anything and, and I would be twatted. Um, you know what, let's... Let's try and take out this guy. Yeah, I suck at that. Um, let's go for her because she's actually got bear shit as well. Bear shit's really fucking useful actually. Um, Take down that guy. Again! Right, I need to really take out that mage. Okay, so... Sam? Right. Take out that mage! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's hide back here. How are you? <laughs> Nearly. And again. Got it! Which should mean... Oh no, fuck, that's a shaman. Bollocks. That's the shaman. That's who I needed to take out. This is going badly for me. I don't know if you'd realise this. Oh, he's out of ammo. Fuck. Um, hide yourself back here and reload. And you... Possibly be able to hit him. Yes, just about. Cock. This is bad. Um, my character has done fuck all, basically. Hey, managed to hit someone. Uh, right, get him. Yes. Wow, we fucked up. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that, that's basically the combat. Um, and that was the flashback that gets you used to the combat. You get more skills as you get more powerful, but so do the enemies. Um, it can be quite nasty. So basically, Sam is now going to tell us that um, you get 100,000 new yen if you find out who killed him. Um... So yeah, and then you go into so 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 then you go into downtown Seattle. Seattle is basically um what is it? The United Confederation of Allied States, UCAS. It's part of UCAS and most of the Shadow Running universe takes place in Seattle. Um and this is very much an RPG. You go in and you you discuss people, just discuss things. So we're going to go in and we're going to talk to the coroner who has a nice chop shop and you can talk to the dwarf because dwarfs are awesome um so basically th th basically this is a chop shop and you, you you make your choices um so um yeah you can you go and take a look around i don't know what it is i just said but um yeah, he's gonna go and show me Sam. Sam is Sam is this guy, and and uh, the, the conversations, the writing in this is fucking awesome. 
Um, uh, there, there is a lot of. Um, if you like stories with story, if you like games with story, this is possibly the best one. It's like I say, a shame they don't have any. Um, it's a shame that they don't have any voice acting. But um, yeah, this guy, you can piss people off, etc. Um, and so, who the hell are you? Um, I'm the nobody who didn't hear nothing. That's right, and if you ever do hear something, I'll knock it right out of your head. And he's a troll, by the way. Trolls are big fuckers, as you probably guessed by the name troll. Um, so you're investigating your dude and... There we go. That, that, that's basically it. And then you then you explore and you fight occasionally. Because because actually shadow running is the whole idea that Um Right, so basically the whole point is that you go and you, you get people to help you. Um you investigate Sam's murder and you find the whole big conspiracy theory. Um, there's a guy in the morgue, but I'm not really going to go into the story. I would suggest, um, I'm going to actually leave it here to be honest, because you've seen the combat, you've seen, um, if you've been, if you paused and you've had a read about, um, you know what the writing's like. The writing is, is excellent throughout actually. It doesn't really drop, um, it's very descriptive, it's, it feels very film noir-ish. Um, and and that's basically what Shadowrun is. Um, like I say, don't don't buy it necessarily for this campaign. Although this campaign is actually really good from what I've played of it. Um, buy it for the possibility of the campaigns to come, because I think the user-generated content in this and the story making in this is going to be second to none. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, so I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Shadowrun Returns. Um, you can get this game on Steam. Class dismissed.